Well, when we come back, helping women figure out what they want and how to get it. it it's possible, is Javier. It? <laughs> it really is. You can make a decision. Yeah, right. right. And, and stick with it. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. <laughs> okay, oh. that's the tail end of a very memorable scene from the movie when what Harry happened? met Sally. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what happened. It's also, oh. though, the title of a new book, Helping Women Know What They Really Want and How to Get It. Yeah, the author of that book is live with Gina Maravilla this morning. Yeah. All right, Gina, we're all ears. <laughs> you know, this is such a fantastic, fantastic subject because you know what, really, ladies and also too, gentlemen, how many times have we said, if only I, if only I, well, we are hanging out with Vanessa Horn. She has written a book that's coming out in a few months called I'll Have What She's Having. Good morning to you. Morning. And we're going to talk about the if only syndrome, but then you're going to have the cure for us and you're going to go over the want formula. But first, let's go over the if only. And you know, we're here along, we should mention, we're along the bridal path in Central Phoenix where a lot of people, a lot of ladies like this lady here, they jog, they walk, they try to improve themselves. And one of the first if only statements you address is, if only I was more beautiful. When we see that woman who embodies what we want, we say, I want what she's having. Mm -hmm. And the things that the if only syndrome I've seen women experience is, if only I had a better body, yeah. if only I were more beautiful, if only I had a man or a better man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If only I had more money, or if only I had more success, but all of those things are conditional happiness. They're saying this has to be in existence before I'll experience the fullness of life that I really want, and that is unnecessary. And so you say the cure is the want formula, W-A-N-T, and each letter stands for something. What's W? W stands for worthiness. The problem when we don't know our worth is that we pursue things to try to prove our worth, or we pursue things to be validated by others of what our worth is. The A stands for act as if. So if there's something you really want that you're trying to pursue, act as if you're already experiencing the feelings that you'll have on the other side of achieving that goal because it's unnecessary to have to wait until I have the happiness. Our founding fathers were wrong. They said that we had the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, but it's the pursuit of happiness that keeps it at bay. Yeah. If it had been our founding mothers, you know what they would have said? What's that? <laughs> hey, girlfriend, let's be happy now. <laughs> and we can be. Amen to that. Okay. Tell us what N stands N for. N stands for never compare. According mm. to research, women spend an average of 3.2 hours a day on social media. Yeah. The problem is that they're comparing the best of everybody else's life to the worst of their own. And it puts them in a spectator role rather than a creator role. You know, on that note, I saw a thing on Pinterest. It said, jealousy is when we count somebody else's blessings and not our own. So that's great advice. T, what does T stand T for? T stands for be true to yourself. The number one regret expressed by women at the end of their life was, I wish I'd lived a life that was true to myself, not the life that everybody else wanted me to live. And I love what Howard Thurman has to say about it. He says, don't ask the world what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do that because yeah. what the world needs are people who have come alive. Yeah. And when we live that way, it has turns heads, has people say, hey, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. Vanessa Horn, thank you so much. If you want more information, uh, you can find all that information on our website. Have a fantastic day, Arizona. All right. Thank you.